Hey guys, it's Sam PC Sim. So I am finally back after a three month hiatus. And I am back with a rather large tutorial for you guys. This is a tutorial that I planned on doing a very long time ago, and it's one I'm finally getting around to making, and I'm just so excited to show it to you guys. And that tutorial is how to make clothing. Now this tutorial, it's not going to be in one video. I'm going to have to break it up into maybe like four or five parts because there's so many different things I need to show you. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch like an hour and a half long video on how to do the clothing. So, <laughs> yeah. This tutorial, in this tutorial at least for the clothing, I'm going to show you guys how to recolor an outfit which is just changing the color of the outfit from one color to another. And the, you're going to need two things for this tutorial. The first thing you're going to need is the Sims 2 Body Shop, which comes with your Sims game once you download it. And the second item you're going to need is an editing program such as GIMP or Photoshop. I highly recommend GIMP because it's like Photoshop in every single way and it's a free program. Um, I'm including the download link below for that. And I am also... Oh, sorry, anyways. There was anything else to add to that. <laughs> and is there anything else I need to say? This tutorial may be a little difficult for some of you. Um, but it's not going to be so hard that you guys are going to want to give up or you won't be able to do it. You guys can definitely do this. Making clothing for The Sims is a lot easier than it looks. You're just going to need some patience and some persistence. Um, I'm going to show you guys, in the tutorial I'm showing you the methods I use for making clothing so it'll be easy for me to explain it to you guys if you guys have questions or need help and whatnot. And so yeah. Anyways, all this said and done, finally, let's get to making some clothing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up our Body Shop program. And to do that, you just go to your Start menu, and you click All Programs, and you go to EA Games, and then you just click on your most recently downloaded expansion pack. Um, I forget the order of the games which mine go in, so what I did to make things easy was pin it to my taskbar, so I'm just going to click. But um, if you need to find your most recently downloaded expansion pack, you just go to Google and you Google The Sims 2 list of games, and it'll list in order um, the expansion packs that were released. And you just look for your expansion pack, which is furthest down the line. So. Anyways, depending on how much custom content you have, Body Shop will take some time to open. So, I shall be back once mine decides to load. Okay, shop is up. So now what you do is you go to Create Parts, and you click Start New Project. You click Create Clothing, and here we're taken to the clothing thing clothing menu, I meant to say, not thing. Um, I am going to recolor a shirt, and so make sure you're an adult female. If you're following along fully with my tutorial, you're probably going to want to do the shirt that I choose as well. I'm going into every day for the adult female, and I just click tops, and I'm scrolling through clothes, past the expansion pack clothing, and into the Maxis defaults. Oh, I passed it. <laughs> I'm using this plain white, like, white or cream color tank top, whichever. And you just click Export Selected Textures. And we're going we're gonna to give the project a name. I'm just going to call it Tutorial. You guys can name it whatever you want. Be sure to use an underscore because you can't space when you name a project for whatever reason. So anyways, once you have it named, you just click Accept Project Name, and it will export, and it will say your textures were saved to, and it will give you the path. So now what we're going to do 
is open up our editing program. And what program I recommend you use would be GIMP. Um, it is exactly like Photoshop in every aspect except it's free. And in my opinion it's easier to use. But yeah. I am including the download link for GIMP in the description box so you guys can download it and follow me along through my tutorial. So anyways, just open up your editing program. Another program you can use would be Photoshop. You can use any editing program, basically, except for um, Microsoft Paint. So anyways, now that our editing program is open, let's open up our files. So you go to File, and Open, and you click Documents, EA Games, The Sims 2, and you are going to look for your projects folder and open that up. And now you just find the project folder that you named. Here it is, for me at least. <laughs> and there's three files, and the file you're going to open is the top one, top standard matte base texture name .bmp. You just click it and open it, and here is our shirt to recolor. Okay. So, to recolor, you're going to click right here on Colors, and you're going to click on Colorize. Now, this little box right here has three options for us to mess around with. Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. Hue lets you decide the color of the shirt. As you can see, we have a rainbow of colors here. Saturation, which allows you to decide how much or how little the color will show up see no color at all or big and bold and then lightness is just the lightness of the shirt you can have it extremely dark so it's not there pretty much or extremely light so it's pretty much not there the coloring process is easy because it's just a matter of finding what you want so let's do this I'm gonna go with a green color and I believe oh yeah greens right here you just slide the sliders around until you find something that that you like. I always like darker shirts. Whoa, hello. Mm, that's a little bright for my liking. Hmm. It's, it's like a pale kind of green. I like it. So, once you guys find something that you like pretty much, you just click OK. And now you save your files by going to File and Save. And now we open up Body Shop. You click the Refresh Preview Sim button. And there is the shirt. Hello. Super easy, right? That's all you guys do for recoloring an outfit. I highly recommend. If you are going to recolor clothing, you recolor a white or gray outfit. You don't want to like take a red one and try to make it blue. I tried that before and it was kind of awkward for me at least. So my advice is to use just a white or gray outfit to recolor. Other than that, that's, that's it. That's all you guys do. I hope you guys found this easy. So... I hope you guys found this easy and you enjoyed it. There we go. <laughs> and I shall be uploading part two very, very soon. I hope you guys liked this yet again. <laughs> and if you enjoyed the video and my tutorial, please check out my website and leave me a little comment on my website saying how much you like the tutorial since I can't view comments very well anymore and I can't reply to people as well since a lot of people have changed their settings on YouTube so you can't reply to their comments for whatever reason. So, anyways, yes, please check out my website. The link is in the description below. And so is my Facebook page, though I don't update that nearly as often as I should, but I'm still on that occasionally. So, anyways, I shall see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Anyways, now that our editing program is open, Let's open up our files. 
helps you go to file and open and you click documents EA games the sims 2 and you are going to look for your projects folder and open that up and now you just find the project folder that you named here it is for me at least <laughs> And there's three files, and the file you're going to open is the top one, top standard mat base texture name .bmp. You just click it and open it, and here's our shirt to recolor. Okay. So to recolor, you're going to click right here on colors, and you're going to click on colorize. And this little box right here has three options for us to mess around with. Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. Hue lets you decide the color of the shirt. As you can see, we have a rainbow of colors here. Saturation, which allows you to decide how much or how little the color will show up. See, no color at all, or big and bold. And then lightness is just the lightness of the shirt. You can have it extremely dark, so it's not there pretty much or extremely light so it's pretty much not there. The coloring process is easy because it's just a matter of finding what you want. So let's do this. I'm going to go with a green color and I believe oh yeah, green's right here. You just slide the sliders around until you find something that, that you like. I always like darker shirts. Whoa, hello. Mm, that's a little bright for my liking. Hmm. It's, it's like a pale kind of green. I like it. So, once you guys find something that you like pretty much, you just click OK. And now you save your files by going to File and Save. And now we open up Body Shop. You click the refresh preview sim button, and there is the shirt. Hello, super easy, right? That's all you guys do for recoloring an outfit. I highly recommend if you are going to recolor clothing, you recolor a white or gray outfit. You don't want to like take a red one and try to make it blue. I tried that before and it was kind of awkward for me at least. So my advice is to use just a white or gray outfit to recolor. Other than that, that's that's it. That's all you guys do. I hope you guys found this easy. So I hope you guys found this easy and you enjoyed it. There we go. <laughs> And I shall be uploading part two very, very soon. I hope you guys liked this yet again. <laughs> and if you enjoyed the video and my tutorial, please check out my website and leave me a little comment on my website saying how much you like the tutorial since I can't view comments very well anymore and I can't reply to people as well since a lot of people have changed their settings on YouTube so you can't reply to their comments for whatever reason. So, anyways, yes, please check out my website. The link is in the description below. And so is my Facebook page, though I don't update that nearly as often as I should, but I'm still on that occasionally. So, anyways, I shall see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.